Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with some more crocheting. If you're not familiar with this series, I am actually working like on a small patchwork afghan. I am showing you guys from beginning to end how I'm making the different blocks and how I will be putting them together. You can get caught up with this series. There's a playlist link down below in the description box and I'll try to put a card up top here somewhere. Where are you? Up here somewhere. So you can just go watch the beginning if you want. So as a recap, I showed you guys how to do the seed stitch block and I really love the seed stitch. Now what I thought is I'm going to need, I don't know, I have no idea how big I'm making this little afghan. Did I say quilt before? I probably did because I'm so used to saying quilt. But I'm going to be making an afghan and I don't know if I'm going to bake it very big. I just don't know. But what I'm going to do is off camera just to make things go quick is I'm making additional blocks. So I actually have three seed stitch blocks. But you'll notice I have finished this one with an edge around it. I decided that I want to do that. So from now on, I will be finishing the blocks like that. The reason we want an edge is because it makes it easier to put them together. It just gives them a nice, neat finish. Now you will notice that blocks are not always going to be the same size. When you have them crocheted together and the afghan's going to get stretched out and stuff. It just all works out. Now for instance this block it's got something funky going on right there that I don't like and had I really noticed that when I was crocheting it you know I probably would have backed up and taken those three stitches out and redid them but I'm certainly not going to rip this apart just to get rid of that. It'll all again work out once it's in part of the afghan so I am not concerned about it. Do I like it? No I don't love it but I have to not be concerned. So this one is still going to need the border an easy way to explain, but I will be showing you on the block that we're making tonight. The easiest way to explain it is we're just going to work single crochet all the way around. Now when you do single crochet on a edge, especially when you're doing different kinds of blocks, it can be like so confusing as to where you put your crochet hook. Here's what I say. Don't worry about it. We are aiming to get 16 stitches across on all four sides. Now the top and bottom is easy because we worked with 16 on this, but when we get to this side we're just going to put the hook wherever it feels like going and we're just going to do our best to get 16 across and I will show you again how we do that. So I'm trying to get every block to be about this size. Now it's hard when you switch patterns, like we're doing something different now for the next block, but it'll all work, I promise. It always does. So I'm taking another color of yarn here. We're going to do a very easy single crochet block, but with a twist. This is what single crochet looks like. If you work it so that you are going <laughs> let's get this off you know under both like when we are crocheting and I'll show you it's just a smooth piece of work like this and each two rows makes a ridge so there's two rows there two rows there two rows there it makes it very easy to count two four six rows on this little tiny practice piece here let me just show you Another thing you can do when you're doing single crochet, instead of putting your hook under both, you can always put your hook just in the back loop, going back and forth each row. And that gives you a ridged, I don't know how to call it, but it's like, you know, just a bumpy effect. And that's super cool, and we may do that. But tonight I feel like doing something a little bit different, so I'm just going to show you. So just make your slip knot, and I have some beginner videos on how to do that. Since we're just doing single crochet, you can have any number chain you want. doesn't have to be odd or even or adding things on the end. Any number you want. But we want to work 16 because that's what we had in this. We were working 16 across. So in that case, I want to work 16, I need one for the turning, so I'm going to chain 17. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six. And for the first row, we're just going to single crochet all the way across. You don't start with the chain that's got the yarn coming out of it. So this is the first chain right here. One, two, three, fifteen, and sixteen. And chain one. I always chain one after any kind of single crochet row. And yes, I know I'm going fast. I am assuming at this point that you know how to make the single crochet. If not, you can go watch my other videos, and I do it slower in the very beginning ones. Now here's the thing. This is how I remember it. I don't know if it's an easy way to remember it. When my strand of yarn is to my right, I am going to always put my hook under just the loop that is next to me. So we're going to single crochet, but we're not going under both. We're not going in the back one, like a lot of people are used to doing. We're going under this one, and we're going to do our single crochet. So we go under just this loop, the one that's facing us, or that's next to us, I should say. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through both. Under just that first loop, yarn over like that. And we're going to single crochet like that all the way across this row. Chain one to turn. Now when we're going in the opposite direction, when this loose piece of yarn is to the left, we're going in the back loop. So we're going to start right here in our first one in the back. And we're just going to single crochet all the way across. Oops, I gotta pull some yarn here. So I'm just doing in the back every time when I'm going in that direction. And it's just going to alternate from row to row. I'm still using my size K hook. I'll be using that for this whole series. Okay, and I'm going to chain one and turn. Now we have the yarn on this side again. So I'm going to be doing just the part of the chain that is next to me, going under just there. Single crochet, single crochet. This is actually the back side. The front side's going to have a little bit of a texture to it. I'll show you when we turn. I'm having a very hard time to crochet because I have a camera between my face and this and I have to have my head tilted to the side because I don't have a professional setup so it's hard. I have each arm is around a tripod. <laughs> the tripod is here right in the middle of my two hands. I keep losing my yarn. Very, very easy stitch. Where's my last one right there? And turn. So you can start to see the design that it makes. It's a flat block, but you see the the little, you know, the little parts of the V that we did not put our hook under. So I like it. So now I'm going in the back side all the way across. I need to hire a child to just sit here and pull yarn for me. Child labor. <laughs> and chain one and turn. So I'm just going to finish this block off camera and then I will show you how I'm going to crochet around it. I will be right back. All right, 
I worked the 16 stitches and I did 14 rows but you can see it's coming out smaller than my first block that's because you know this one had a different stitch and it had some double crochet in it and it just made it wider but that's okay I'm going with it it'll be stretched out enough and it's going to work so what I'm going to do now is I always make sure I stop on what I call an even row when my strand I don't, what the hell do I call this <laughs> my starting tail I don't know when it's on the right I end on the left and that means I have done an even amount of rows and you can count here easily 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 however that's the back side this time. This is the front side. You can see our ridges and our lines. So that's a pretty cool block. And since this is my front side, I'm going to turn it. We're going to be doing single crochets all the way around, but I want the single crochet to be facing in the right direction. So let's go ahead and turn this block, and we're going to work across down, across, and up. We're basically doing 16 stitches across, but in the corners we want to do like a single crochet, a chain, and a single crochet right in the same hole because then it makes a nice even um, corner. It doesn't bunch up. It makes space. So let's just start right here. Let's do a single crochet, chain one, do a single crochet right there in that same hole. Now let's go across. And at this point, I'm going under both, under the entire V. That was number 15 because I was counting. And now here's my number 16. I'm going to single crochet, chain one, and now I'm going to single crochet right in that same hole. And that's number one for going in this direction. Now here's where I said, you can just about stick your crochet hook wherever you want, but you wanna try to come up with 16 stitches. So we have like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. We have some bumps here to help us, but we're going to have to try to get 16. So we did one, so I'm just going to go here. I'm gonna stick my hook there, whoops right there. Two, and I'm sorry about my mother's TV. She's 94, even with the door shut, and it's blasting. Okay, so one, two. Now let's go in here. Three, and maybe right here. Four, five, six, Let's see, right here, seven, eight. All right, I know I have eight, I need eight more. So I wanna be about halfway, and I am. So now I just need to do eight more. So that's 12, 13, Okay, 14, 15, and right into the corner is going to be 16. Now I chain one. Now I do one more right in that same hole. So that's number one of going in the other direction. Now looky here. See this tail? I'm going to be holding that. Pull some yarn. I am going to hold that, and we're going to hide it as we're going. So this is number one. So I'm going here for single crochet number two. And I'm also going to go under that strand of yarn. I'm just going to hold it this way. Do my single crochet. And it's going to get trapped inside there. So here again, you'll find a way that you can, you know, know where to put your hook. You will once you're doing it, you can see it better. So that was two. So number three, and see, I'm going to just keep this tail, and we're just going to be 
covering it so it's going to be all woven in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, let's see, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, okay, we can do that, fourteen, where are we, let's go right here, fifteen, 16, chain one, one, two, three, four, seven, <laughs> eight, is my halfway point, I'm looking good. 13, 14, 15, and then 16 can go right back into that first hole that we started out with, 16. And then here is how I finish this off. I chain one, I just go under the next single crochet that I can and pull through. I snip it. I pull my yarn completely out and then I come in from the back and I'm going to catch this tail and pull it to the back. And it just makes a very nice and neat corner. And there we have it. This can get woven in when we put the blocks together. I do tend to like to, at this point, put a knot there. I don't know why I get so carried away with that because it's not necessary. So I think I'll stop doing that. You want your tail long enough so that when we do work these things in, it, it gives you enough to work it in. So this one came out a little bit smaller than I would have liked because of the stitches a little tighter. Let's see. Hey, you know what though? It's pretty good. So, it's not as plain and simple as single crochet. You can see the difference here. This is single crochet, and this one has a little bit of a ridge, and you can see these little lines here. So it's just a different kind of texture. And I liked it very much. And I guess that's about it. And I do apologize if I go too fast for you or I don't explain things the right way. I have just started doing crochet tutorials. But you stick with me and we will learn along the way. And again, I'm basically doing these for people who already kind of know how to crochet. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting to teach people who knew nothing about it, but I do have a lot of you interested, so I will try to do some very basic tutorials, but at this point now I want to just make this little afghan, and again I do have some basic for single crochet and double crochet, and also go watch all the videos you can get your hands on. Once you just know the stitches, then you can come back and follow me along. And my main selling point is do not freak out if you think you're doing it wrong, because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You don't have to worry if you have exactly 16 on the side, or did you hit it right in the corner, and did you forget your chain one in the corner? It's not the end of the world. All you need is some fabric, you know, out of yarn. You're making yourself like a block of fabric, and we're going to be sewing those together. Well, we're crocheting them together. All right, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.